now to some international news that will have big impact implications on India in particular. According to a recent report, it seems Apple has accelerated its plans to shift some of its production outside China. It's actually telling suppliers already that they're planning more actively for assembling Apple products elsewhere in Asia, particularly India and Vietnam. They're looking to reduce their dependence on the Taiwanese assemblers that are, obviously, you remember, led by the Foxconn technology. Also, recent turmoil in China's Zhengzhou iPhone city, as it's called, uh, that has propelled Apple to shift its production. As many as 300,000 workers are working at a factory run by Foxconn to make iPhone and other Apple products. Let's go over to my colleague Abhishek right now to understand more. Uh, Abhishek, I believe first inklings of this came through from a Wall Street Journal report. Have we had any confirmation yet from the company itself on what the future plans could be? And do we have any indication as to how open India would be, especially with reports of uh, human rights violations, etc., uh, that you get occasionally from such factories in China? So, Toya, uh, talking about the, uh, Apple's, uh, you know, recent uh, strategy, it has started diversifying its product manufacturing base already. In fact, India is emerging as one of the uh, centers where almost the 7 to 8 percent Apple iPhones are made every year. But now, uh, since the Chinese manufacturing hub is being disturbed because of the turmoil that we are facing, and you also talked about human rights violation and uh, things like COVID restrictions, like it, it's been almost like three years since COVID, the world is getting back to normalcy, but Chinese restrictions and lockdown are still very much in force. That has also, uh, you know, created a situation where Fox, Foxconn's regular supply is being impacted and Apple's overall production, uh, which accounts for almost 70% in Chinese bases, are being impacted, creating a global supply chain disruption. So this has created a kind of uh, effect in Apple's the thinking process where now they are trying to shift bases away from China, uh, India could emerge as one of the major bases where it can have almost 40 to 60 percent of Apple manufacturing. Vietnam is again another uh, center where Apple can have uh, more of its subsidiary products, uh, iPods and other, other I, iPads uh, manufactured, manufactured at that place. And this is happening at a time when India is also allowing so much of incentives uh, and a, a huge skilled workforce in uh, good electronic goods manufacturing is available in India. So probably in a long-term strategy, uh, this looks like shifting away from China and diversifying its bases in other Asian countries is the Apple, uh, Apple's aim. Okay, Abhishek, bring us an update also on COVID figures, please. Though they've been particularly worrying the set of numbers that we've received coming in from China over the last few days. Where do they stand right now? So Chinese uh, COVID figure, if you talk about everyday number of uh, COVID patients that is coming in China, it's like about 40,000 40, is the figure. Uh, around which every day uh, number of people who are tested are found being COVID positive. Only saving grace is that about 90% of them have been found asymptomatic. And the 10% who are found symptomatic or with some uh, symptoms uh, of COVID are also milder cases. So there is no number of casualty that is increasing in China. But uh, since China has always practiced okay. this zero COVID policy, so now the restrictive condition or the lockdown okay. is something that, that is making people exhausted. Abhishek, thank you for bringing us that call.